Hey guys, it's Chanel Heat here. How's everyone doing today? So, Halo Infinite Season 3 update is finally out now, and with it comes a new narrative event, which is actually a really interesting narrative event so far, and I actually find it to be pretty cool. So, there's one cutscene in a narrative event where this is training exercise on live fire, and this grenade lands in front of this door here on the map and damages the paint on the door, revealing that it's an Oni door and has some kind of secret related to Oni. And what's really cool is that that change on a door in a cutscene is actually reflected on the actual map in gameplay. So you can actually start up the map live fire yourself and you can actually go to that door and you can see that it, the paint is damaged on it, you can see the Oni symbol. And there's also a really interesting sound effect coming from the door as well, which I'll let you listen to right now. Camo inbound. Alright, so obviously there's something creepy going on behind that door, and knowing Oni in Halo lore, it's that's not out of the realm of possibility, because Oni does some pretty sketchy and scary stuff actually. Uh, but obviously we can't open that door in gameplay, so we don't really know what's behind it. Until now. So with this recent update, at least I think with this, it was with this recent update, but you can now actually forge on the included dev made maps, such as Live Fire. I don't remember if that was exactly this update, maybe it was with a previous update, but I, I know like when Forge first came out, you couldn't forge on dev made maps, but now you can, and we can use Forge to actually uh, clip through solid walls and doors and see what's on the other side of this door. So as I do that, the first thing I noticed was that that creepy ambient sound that you heard in front of the door, it actually cuts out once I get to the other side. Which, uh, it doesn't really mean much, it just means that whatever was generating that sound effect was in front of the door, not behind it. But, yeah, so now that we're through the door, at first it looks like there's nothing behind us. It looks, looks like we're just inside the map, like clipping through and seeing like invisible areas and stuff like that. But, on closer inspection, there actually is something behind the door. Not only is there like a little bit of like, solid space like physical space behind the door but there's also like a whole underground cavern here like a whole underground cave system and you can see like there's cave walls and there's a ground and there's even like a single like stalagmite coming out of the ground here and not only that but like behind the door this like playable space it's actually solid like well, like, like not solid it's open like it's physical you can actually stand there as a player and you can even jump down into the cave and the cave floor is solid as well normally when you go outside the map to places like this and you see like maybe some out of the map areas or like inside the map areas the ground is usually not solid or the walls aren't solid but here this is all physical like the ground you can see your footprints and everything it's actually that detailed to this extent and there's a whole open area down here pretty wide open and playable area they can actually walk around as a Spartan. Although, it's not fully playable out here. There are some areas where you can get stuck or where you might just die from a death barrier. There's definitely like a lot of glitchy areas too. Like you see holes in the ground here. And like I said, there are some areas with death barriers which uh, even ca cause like other weird glitches like that there. But point is, there isn't nothing behind the door. Behind the door, there actually is, well, well, there's both nothing and something behind the door. There's a big, like, cavern down here, but there's, like, nothing in the cavern. So, I don't know, like, I, I don't know if before the Season 3 update, if this was here or not. Maybe it was. I never actually really explored this area before the update. But, you know, it, it's possible, like, down here, they might use it in the future for whenever that narrative event gets resolved, or, like, maybe when that door is finally opened. They might have something playable down here, but obviously, like right now, you know, behind the door, there's it doesn't really reveal anything about the narrative event, that cutscene. But we do know what's behind the door on a technical basis, and it's possible that might lead to something with future narrative events. But that is uh, for now in this update. That's what's physically and technically behind that secret Oni door on Live Fire. Which is a giant empty cave, but with some interesting features inside, and that's a completely playable and solid area. 
But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and found it to be interesting. Uh, make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed this video, and I'd definitely like to hear your thoughts and theories about what's behind the door, and what that cave area might actually be used for. But aside from that, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you all next time. Bye guys!